Hey -o, everyone, Pwimble here, and today I am looking at a new game that just came out called Space Haven. It is not fully out, it is in early access release. Um, you can purchase it from Steam or GOG. Um, it is currently on uh, version 0 0.8.15 Alpha 8. Uh, this is a fantastic game that I grabbed the other day to test out. Um, it is very similar to Dwarf Fortress or Skyrim, if you are familiar with those games. Essentially, you are... Um, the overlord of some little individuals running around that you are trying to keep alive and keep from dying in horrible ways. Uh, this game actually cites Dwarf Fortress and RimWorld as heavy inspiration for it. Uh, so we're going to jump right in with a new game. There's not a lot of game modes right now, it's just normal. Embark on a space voyage which, with your faction crew, build a fleet of spaceships, and encounter other spacefaring groups as you explore the galaxy, seeking out the goal of your faction. Um, there's two scenarios, basic platform. Your crew um, of four have left Earth behind and the stars await you. First though, you need to build a ship. You have a basic platform and some essential supplies, but you'll need to build everything else yourself. Play this scenario for learning the basic game. The mechanics. So uh, as we play this, I I have done this some, and it will, um, it'll give us little tutorial tidbits, and I don't know if you can turn them off. I haven't really looked, but we're gonna go ahead and play this. Like I said, I've played probably about two hours or so of this game, um, through different um, games. I like to kind of explore different things you can do by playing multiple games. So we're gonna give this game a name. We are going to call it. I will survive. That is our game name. Now we'll choose our difficulty, peaceful, builder, medium, and harsh. Uh, every other game I've played was on medium. Medium's nice, gives you all the resources you need to kind of get set up, as well as a shotgun. Um, the sector you start in has a lot, it has a derelict ship that you can explore and salvage for resources, as well as ice and other minerals. Um, and then there's some rules on how often you'll encounter certain things. The alien presence is very common, um, and so on and so forth. Uh, so, but I think this would be fun if we played this on harsh. Uh, it says you will face some real adversity on your travels and have to make tougher decisions, and that's perfect. I love games like RimWorld and Dwarf Fortress because of their difficulty, uh, because they are just brutally difficult, and I am of the camp that losing is fun and are great ways to learn the game. You can see that the asteroid rules are much lower, very common still here. Uh, derelict ships are rare, claimable ships are even rarer. I've never found a claimable ship, that'd be interesting. And our starting items, instead of having that shotgun and three of these 5.7 pistols, we only have four of these 5.7 pistols. So we can still arm each one of our crew, but it will not be as effective as having that shotgun. That shotgun is very helpful early on. And the other big, actually, wow, we start with more of these whole blocks, which actually is interesting because I keep running out of whole blocks. And it looks like the infra blocks and soft blocks are less, but there's more whole blocks. Anyways, they are all used for creating different items throughout the game. Um, so we're going to jump into our crew. These are our four crewmates. Um, it's starting us with Derek, Haley, I Iwin, Iwin, and Tiffany. So we got an airline pilot, medical assistant, driller, farmer. If we take a look here, it'll show some traits that are associated with him. He is iron willed, which means his surrender is much less. Uh, he has a bravery of one, intelligence of five. He has no zest. I don't know what these attributes here uh, necessarily contribute to, but I imagine uh, they're useful in some way. Uh, his working speed is very high. Recovery, learning, surrender, accidents. Um, so he is a great navigator. He's great with weapons. He's great medical. And he's a great pilot. This Derek here is a great crewmate. We're going to leave him just like that. Um, like RimWorld, you can min-max these by hitting this random button over and over and over and over and over and just trying to get the best possible crew. But where's the fun in that? Uh, Haley medical assistant she is suicidal which is interesting her overall mood is less so she's going to be upset more but her surrender is significantly lower so she doesn't want to surrender um, she is also a pilot 
she can work the shielding operations very well and she's great with weapons too uh, so we actually have two great pilots huh we may re-roll Haley. we'll see here um iwin iwin is a miner he is great at industry He's uh, great at gunning and shielding. So those are the controls to so your ship can shoot and shield itself. The gunner is really nice. Uh, he is neurotic. So his learning is higher and his working speed is lower. But it's still at 95. That's decent. Um, I think we'll keep Iwin here. And Tiffany, she is lazy. So her energy is higher, but her working speed is lower. Her working speed is still 112%, though. Uh, and that's based, oh, so her attributes actually affect that is based on her intelligence, perception. So she's a great candidate. Uh, this lazy is actually just actually beneficial because our working speed is over 100% still and she has that extra 10 energy. Um, she is also a pilot. And weapons. Uh, if you look over here, it shows your team skill. It shows your... Um, your high, you know, so these ones are threes, mean that we have one of our crew has a, a three in it, and these we have a two. Construction is just a two. I would like to have someone who can run construction a bit better. Um, but do I reroll Tiffany or Haley? She's got the shielding weapons. She's got just the weapons, but I like her. Okay, we're gonna reroll Tiffany. Sorry, Tiffany. And we're gonna oh, Cam, Cam, Botany three construction three gunner three weapons three he is pretty excellent do we have a medical yeah medical three okay yeah we're gonna keep the welder uh, he's smart so he's learning and surrender his surrender is a little higher but anyways um this is our crew and we are going to start this game so it's going to start us on a basic square ship platform uh wondering why your crew Hmm, wondering why your crew member is starving when they just ate? Starvation takes a longer time to resolve. Ensure, okay, it's good to know. So here we are, I'm gonna pause the game. Uh, it does have a pause cycle, like many of these games have with many speeds. So we're gonna take a look at our ship. Uh, this is our ship, which I don't think we can, I don't know if you can name your ship. Oh yeah, so we're the HSS Mimosa, which is perfect. Um, you see, this is the sector we have started this game in. Uh, inside this sector, you can see if we zoom way out, there is some asteroids as well as this derelict spaceship. This is the CNHS Toddbringer. All right, and it is unexplored. So, but first, before we can explore anything, we need to get our situation set up. I'm going to run it for just a minute so that things can power up. Got our power generator. Uh, here we have a pod bay with the miner Gib Ore, and we have another pod bay with the minor R-O-J-T. I wonder what that stands for. Uh, oh well. And then we have our shuttle um, Acur... Ac Acuron? Acuron. Well, I'm not very good at reading. Uh, but Acuron. And we got Ewan, Cam, Derek, and Haley. Here we have our airlock, uh, some storage, and our uh, thermal regulator. This is basically a heater. We need to keep this place nice and warm so our people do not freeze in the cold void of space. Uh, it's showing us we need to build some basic tool facility. There's nowhere to rest. And again, we need tool facility. So we're going to set up some build commands. This is the build. In here, we have all of the items we can build throughout our journey through space. And the ones we need right off the bat uh, we're going to need a toilet, but we'll do that in a second. We are going to build a tool facility. So now we got to figure out kind of the layout of our ship. We can expand our hold to create rooms, uh, but I do like to have this large area that we can kind of um, put a lot of our, our inner workings of our spaceship in. So we're going to put our tool facility here. Uh, tool facility, if we hover over this, costs one infra block and one tech block. It needs infra blocks and it'll output basic building tools that our, our crew can use to manufacture other things. Um, I know we will also need, if we go to the life support, we'll need oxygen. Um, it is important to have oxygen in space. If we do not build this, then we will slowly um, succumb to oxygen poisoning and 
die. No, not oxygen poison. That's too much. Uh, we'll just run out of oxygen and die. The other way you die from oxygen. Um, if we look here, you can see that right now, different areas of our ship um, have plenty of oxygen, but that will dwindle as our people breathe. So we are going to build this. We're going to plop it here, as well as a gas scrubber. And gas scrubbers actually remove the CO2, the hazardous gas, and the smoke out of the air and output uh, just raw minerals. Um, so that's important to have. We're going to drop it right there. You can see the CO2 levels are safe. Um, it's just another thing you have to watch out for. <coughs> In fact, if we look here, uh, you see CO2 levels. We got smoke levels, also safe. We have hazardous gas levels. And we have temperature. Uh, no, that's vents. Uh, temperature here. You can see that it is kind of cold. It is running about 40 degrees Fahrenheit throughout this whole ship. Uh, that is pretty chilly. We're going to try to boost that up. Make our people a little bit more comfortable. Uh, but now we are going to let our crew start working. They're going to grab resources out of the storage and take it to these blueprints to be built. Now, our power setup is not in a place that we can really run power to these yet. If we look here at the power grid, you can see that from our power generator, there is a power node here that is connected and a power node here that is connected to this power node in back. So we need to expand this across our whole ship to a supply power everywhere. I really like these wall power nodes. You see the range of influence is a little bit less than say an actual power node. It's quite a bit bigger. And in fact, I, I think the floor and the wall are actually the same. Yep, they are. But they're nice because they're out of the way. They don't take a spot away from another building or something similar. So we're going to drop this actually here so we can connect it. And we are going to drop another one right here. See these green lines indicate they can be connected. It is also dark in this corner, so we are going to put a light right here. Now you have wall lights and actual lights. Think about actual the actual lights. They produce more light, but they do require an infra block to to use, um, which is a valuable resource. You see, we have 39 of them, uh, but we're going to go ahead and do that. And not enough build tools. So we need to get this guy online so we can get the build tools needed for the oxygen. And in fact, we can't even build this without build tools. Interesting. So we don't start this game with any build tools. Okay. So we're actually going to have to move our <laughs> tool facility off to a great start. We're going to need to move it within the range of the power generator here. So we're going to click it, we're going to hit move, and we're just going to plop it right down. Uh, we'll go right here. Okay, speed this game up a little bit, watch the crew work. Okay, well our first stumble into the harsh difficulty. We have no tools. So they're going to move these pieces down here and reconstruct it down in this area. Come on Haley. And because it is in within the range of the power generator, it will have the power needed to produce build tools. They're loading it up with the stuff it needs. And you can see it has a little bit less infra blocks, but it is building tools. Okay, now it is saying we need some more heat in this place. So let us life support. We're gonna put some wall regulators kind of in areas that I don't foresee us needing oh man it is oh well, it's 72 actually hmm I'm kind of happy with this right now I'm gonna leave that okay we were able to build our uh, power nodes wall nodes so we need to link it to a source of power so they can also start running power uh, we're going to hit the links button and you can see I can link it here or I can link it here. Uh, I will link it with the power generator and I'll also link it with this power node here so that each of them can have some power and the light comes on, our oxygen is properly working and we are good to go. Uh, I don't, I might want to build one just to get this out of the way. Ah, I'll leave it for now. Okay, 
on to the next we need a toilet um, but I'd like to create a bathroom I don't want uh, necessarily a toilet out in the middle of nowhere so I'm gonna start working on some hole expansions um, I like to have a dormitory area which I believe in this game I think over here I will eventually have kind of maybe down. Um, okay, in this game we're just gonna put it right up here. So we are going to run just a one tile hallway up this way. And we are going to build the dormitory. Let's see if there if we do individual beds, we will need a good amount. One bed, two beds, three beds, four beds, okay. This will fit all four beds. And I think right up here we will actually do a three by three that we will make. I know it actually won't be able to. Oh yeah, we can run the beds down here. Bathroom will be up here. That's perfect. Uh, we also want a kitchen and a rec room, which we can do the exact same shape, nice and symmetrical. Uh, right down, right two, one, two. Yeah, okay. And then a three by three. Nope, missed that. Cancel this. Oh boy. Uh, there and and there we go. Okay, uh, that looks wrong. It is wrong. Why does it is wrong? It's very wrong. Oh, I think one two three four five six one two three four. Five, six, seven, eight. Man. Okay. Well, we'll do that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh man, we still need one more. Okay, there we go. This will just be a bigger haul. That's fine. And you can see our what are they called? Um Miner is going out and it is building this. It will use these whole blocks which we, you know, are a valuable resource, and especially since we do not have uh, a lot of derelict ships in this game, that's kind of where you find those, you, you salvage derelict ships. So we're gonna speed this up, get these guys going, and in the meantime, actually, let's see here. Let's see, what other things are we going to need to survive? Here's our beds, we'll build those as soon as the bedrooms and stuff are ready to go. We'll build the toilet when it is ready. We will build, got power generators, got power, do, 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 do. all these can kind of wait, a water purifier. We do need water, water is important in space. So let's block the water purifier down here. It uses ice, as you can see, to output water. Now ice, again in this game, is uncommon, so, yeah. We'll see how that works for us. Um, we will eventually also need grow beds for our food. Um, and shield generates hole stabilizers. All this is also important. Uh, we will build this thermal regulator. And I'm actually gonna put it here in the hall, right there on the wall here. That'll kind of keep this area nice and toasty warm. And let's speed this up. Come on, let's get working. Since this is done, I actually think I'm going to make this side the bedroom. We're gonna start building beds. Uh, you can do bunk beds, but as you can see, the comfort for a bunk bed is five and the comfort for a regular bed is 10, which you end up spending the same amount. It just takes more space. So we're going to build regular beds and then we are going to put a wall Here. and the door will be over here okay so run those you can see the nice thing is as they are building this ship it is is it removing o2 from here no it kind of seals itself i believe and it doesn't take the o2 out of the air which is nice and you don't have to worry about that uh, this has no power, so we need to get some power over here. Uh, we will use another wall unit. Place it right here. Yeah. 
Well, they got some of the beds built. Uh, unfortunately, Haley got the short end of the stick and is not... Oh, and she's the suicidal one. Good. <laughs> oh, and she shat her pants. Which means... Oh, yep, look at that. We did not get the bathroom built quick enough. Everyone has now shat their pants. So that's just... Pretty gross. And uh, don't love that. We're going to keep that going. Okay, everyone is awake. Haley has slept on the floor. Cam, someone was mean to me. Iwin was mean to Cam. Iwin, don't mess with Cam, man. Cam is a brute, right? Maybe not. Oh, he's a welder. Maybe I'm just being stereotyping against welders. His work speed's a little low. Okay, they finally got that last bed built. Don't worry, Haley. You will not have to sleep on the floor again. We have all the beds we need. And once we get this power up and running, we can get some lights set up in this bedroom as well. So we need to link it to here. You can see that it has the two of three. Um, each unit can only have three things connected to it. So you have to be a little bit strategic. And in fact, right now, I'm going to do a nice circuit around. Um, I don't know if that's necessary, but uh, I like things to be nice and clean. So let's get some wall lights in our bedroom. We're going to put one here and one here. it will light up a lot of that area. And let's get a toilet in here. Where was the toilet's uh, facility? There we go. And we're going to turn it this way. We'll go right here. And I thought I told it. Huh. It's interesting. I thought I told it to do this, but I guess not. Actually, wait just a minute. I am being a little picky, but I want to have a nice wall here. I can have him build the walls while we wait. Hopefully no one shats their pants in the meantime. Get a door here, and I don't know if they'll build this door until the walls are done. Yep, we know requires beds and toilets, okay. Uh, Mrs. Poop Pants herself, Haley, she still has got that shat in her pants, which has made her majorly discomforted, discomfortable, there we go, that's the word I'm looking for. And hopefully these miners get over here, there we go, okay. La facility, and let's install that bathroom right there. Unreachable area, okay, that's fine, nowhere to rest. What? what do you mean? Oh, couches. Yep, 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 yep. All in good time. Come on, people. Let's get a light in here. Uh, it will need power. I just realized we don't have any power I can reach over here. So I'll probably put a floor unit right there. They can walk over that. And we'll help supply power into this area of the ship once we move to that area. Speed this up just a little bit. Come on, we got to get those bathrooms built. We got too much poop, you pants. In an enclosed spaceship with members of the, the crew, got shat in their drawers. This is not a good way to represent our ship. Okay, let's link this up here. Get some power going here, and there we go. Bathroom is ready to go, and I believe the toilet actually facilities yes it like it or not okay come on you need to go away i know we need a kitchen like it or not it takes human waste and produces water out of them so you know take that for what it is get some walls up this will be our kind of common area right across the way from the dorm we'll build some walls and a door and I'm gonna pause this because I, I feel like I'm wasting a lot of our crewmates time and energy we're gonna put a couch here we are going to put a table right here along with some chairs and a is it life 
furniture facility. Okay, it is. Kitchen will be right up here. Okay, get working on that. We need some furniture. We need some lights. Go some wall lights. Boom, boom. And boom. Some wall lights, and we will need some power in here. We will do another floor unit right there. Beautiful. That will be our rec room. Okay, so now it is saying we need some grow lights. Yes, yes, yes. Grow lights, grow lights, grow lights. Sorry about that. My mic just fell down. Okay. I like to have, as you can see, there's a there's a comfort area here. And this area here is very uncomfortable. Um, it's produced by all of these are uncomfort. You can almost think of it as beauty as well. It's kind of uh, beauty and comfort grouped into one. Uh, our group gets very uncomfortable here. Up here, uh, we got a good comfort level. Comfort level of four, it's positive. Here is four as well. Um, so I don't like to have our crew spend their entire time in this area while working. I like to have little rooms set up around that the crew can spend some time in that is maybe a little bit more enjoyable to be in. So we are going to build we still have some whole blocks. It's not a lot. I may be getting greedy here. Uh, but we are going to build. Right, there. right down here. A room. I think four by four. Let's see here. If we look at the food situation, this large grow bed requires a four by five. Okay. So we're going to extend this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Just like that. And we will let our crew start working on that. This first video is going to be a whole lot of setup. Um, not a lot of action is going to happen right away. Uh, at least I don't think a whole lot of action is going to happen right away. Uh, we need to get this set up. Come on, guys. There we go. Nope, they're eating food. And using the facilities. And my mic stand is not working out for me today. It is constantly falling. Okay, you stay. Speed four as the night wears on. Okay, this is getting stupid. Okay, and we're back. Sorry about that, everyone. My uh, mic stand kept falling. I think I've got it in a place uh, that it will stop falling. Okay, we can get back to this. Let's link up our rec room. Uh, it's a little dark over here, but that's okay. They won't really be back there. We got couch now, tables. Everything is good to go. And once we get this floor built here, we will throw a large grow room right there. Build some walls. Extend this wall this way. I do want to get rid of this door. Okay, there we go. Put a door there and perfect. We do need some lights in here so our crew can see what they are doing. Just like that. Plant a crop, yep. Okay, so now we're gonna open up our grow bed and we have six, five beds, five beds in this one. What I like to do is in bed one, and two, I'm going to do root vegetables, fruits in bed three, artificial meat in bed four, and fibers in bed five. And I believe we have 
Yes, we are. All of these, so they can plant them. It no, does take water to grow each one of these. And the harvest will be biomatter and the article that we are growing. Um, they will then take these raw resources into the kitchen and produce the space foods. Okay. And let's slow this down a little bit. Uh, we need some power in here. Where is this light source coming from? Oh, okay. This one has power. Is that is that right? Okay, that one's getting power from here. That one is not. That's unfortunate. I wonder if I were to move this. Hmm, it wouldn't be able to connect to that unit any longer. But it would probably be more efficient than building just a new one. Yeah, we're just going to move it. Actually, you know what? We're going to dismantle that. We're going to stop moving this. One light is plenty. We're getting greedy. We're on harsh difficulty. They can make do with one light. All right. Well, things are looking good. Let's come get some of this ice. So we can click these asteroids. You can see it has 11 ice on it. We are going to use this button to transfer all 11 to our ship. Same with this. And same with this. What base metals? What's this one? Noble metals and carbon. We're going to transfer all these. And this wants us to build a recycler. That's fine. We are now going to build another room. Yeah, with some of these whole blocks. I hope we don't run out of whole blocks. We might. In which case, we'll just have to do what we can to produce more of them. And I might actually... Is this stupid? I don't know how many whole blocks this is going to take. Huh, this could be... I'm going to start by just doing it this size. And we're going to go from there. You can customize a look design just by clicking. It's kind of nice. It'll make all the room's walls have a more uniform look. And if we raise the walls here, you can see that is the case. What do walls take to build? They just take, okay, building parts. Okay, that's easy. All right. So we got one of our miners going out and collecting. You see in the inv inventory, it has ice. And it is putting ice here. Haley is now going to come grab some ice and either store it or they will use it in the water purifier that is not doing anything at the moment. So the interesting thing about recyclers, which is the machine it wants us to build next, we look at recycler here. Recyclers, scrap, they transform scrap material into a variety of usable resources, releasing heat and is noisy. Enclosed with walls. Okay. So this puts out a lot of hazardous gas as well as heat. And they also don't like being around noisy things. So we don't want to just throw the recycler in the middle of this room or it'll fill this whole area with hazardous gas, which is why we're going to build this extension down here, which I think I made big enough. Man, that's going to be a tight fit. Um, we're going to wall this in and we're actually going to put they are all sleeping now, so we're going to speed this to five. We are actually going to put a... Where is it? Airlock. Uh, no, not airlock. It is a... My goodness. Oh, here it is. A spacesuit door. So when they go into work in this room, they will be in full spacesuit with oxygen and everything. Um, Helps them with the noise, helps them working in dangerous areas, such as hazardous gas-filled areas, and uh, will just make it overall a better experience for our crew. But with that, everyone, uh, we need to end this first episode. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you go out and take a look at Space Haven yourself. It is a fantastic game. I'm really enjoying it. Um, I, will, I plan to do more parts of this so you can see more of the game if you care to. And until next time, I thank you for joining me today. Goodbye.